Hello YouTubers! Today I will be doing a video on how to wash your pet rat. Okay, first things first. You're going to need somewhere to wash your rat. Now, where I'm going to wash my rat is in this sink. Now, some people use um, a bin, like a little um, plastic bin, and they add soap and wash their rat in there, or some people use a sink. Either one is fine. Um, the reason why I choose to use a sink is because it has a faucet, so it's easier to wash out the soap and easier, easier to wash out the sink and everything like that. So, when you're going to wash your rat, um, you want to have all your supplies ready to go before you get your rat. Um, because you don't want to be running back and forth getting, you know, a towel, soap, anything that you're going to need either to dry your rat or to wash it. Um, so anyways, as you can see right here, I have all my supplies set out. And my towels and my supplies for after the bath, the brushes, and the soap. I'll be, go over, be going over the soap in just a minute. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to have all your supplies ready to go when you're going to be washing your rat. Okay, so, when you're going to wash your rat, you're going to need, um, soap. So basically, this is a dog shampoo. Here, let me see if you could get that. Ocean Breeze. It's a dog soap. Now, the reason why I'm using a dog soap is because... Just in case the soap gets in their eyes, this won't agitate the eyes or irritate anything like that, even their skin. So it's good to use a dog soap or probably any type of like animal soap, but I think the dog soap is the best. Um, they do sell soap, especially for rats or hamsters, um, which you could buy, but I like to use this soap because it smells really good. So anyways... You could also, if you don't have a dog soap, you could use a natural soap. This is a banana soap. It has no um, added chemicals or anything. It's just natural bubble bath soap. And let's see, can you pick? I think the camera can see that well. The title, it's Beauty Smooth Smoothie Banana Cream. You're not going to want to use um, soap that's going to add any... Um, fluffiness to your rat's fur or any like scents or oils, extra oils as this soap does for human hair. So you're not going to be wanting to use any of that. Or you don't want to use, um, let's see, a conditioner. Uh, I can't see that. A conditioner. Well, this is a conditioner. You're not going to want to use that because it makes um, the rat's hair too slippery. And it's... It, also adds more oils to their skin and you don't want their skin to have any extra oils really when you're washing it. That's mainly the purpose usually why people wash um, their rats is because their rats either have extra oil or they stink rather. Those are the two reasons usually. Um, when you want to wash your rat you want to think about um, the first time if you're giving a first time bath for a smaller rat um, you should start giving them a bath when you just get them, let them kind of, when they're babies, whether you get them when they're babies. My rats, when I got them, they were, I think, about two months old, but I haven't, I didn't bathe them until they were like eight months old, which was a mistake, because um, you're supposed to get them used to the water when they're littler, but I got them used to the water when they were older, so now they tend to not enjoy it as much as other rats do. So that's one thing you can consider if you're trying to bathe your rat for the first time. I would bathe your rat when they are littler, but it's okay. You can still bathe them even if they are older, like 10 months old or anything like that. You can still bathe them. Um, and you also want to think about after you bathe your rat, about how many times you want to bathe them. Usually you want to bathe them every month. You don't want to go any like two to three weeks. You don't want to do that. You just want to bathe them every month or every month and a half. Usually I bathe my rats every month and a half. I don't want to do it any sooner than that because if you do their skin could crack or they could get scabs because they need extra oil. They can't have all that oil taken out of their fur that soon. 
and keep washing them over and over again, it'll just dry out their skin. So that's one thing you do not want to do. You want to wait at least a month or two before you bathe them again. Now, depending what season it is, either it's the winter. Right now, for me, it's the winter, so I bathe my rats less because they need all the oils they get because in the winter, rats' skin tends to dry up and crack more than in the spring or summer. Okay, so anyways, um, basically that's the whole process when you want to bathe your rat. Okay, so I have my supplies. I have my towel for the, for the rat when I dry it, and I also have grooming supplies afterwards because it's not mandatory to have um, brushes like this after you bathe the rat, but I like to use it because it makes it a faster process to dry. You're right. Um, so anyways, um, you could also put something in um, the sink or the tub or whatever you're going to be bathing your rat on the bottom. They also, they really like to feel the bottom and they feel more safe and secure so they don't feel like they're going to drown or anything. I do hold my rat. I don't let my rat just kind of float around or do anything like that um, because my rat probably would jump out of the sink and it's sort of difficult when that happens so anyways okay so when you want to bathe your rat um, you want to make sure that the sink is washed down you don't know or the tub or wherever you're bathing it you don't know you know maybe it's dirty or something like that so anyways I already washed my sink down it's clean and I added the two um, these are like sponge things but they're really soft and squishy so I use them for the rats for the rat to step on. I'm only going to be bathing one rat. I do have three rats, but I'm only going to be bathing one. So I think that's about it. And then I will go get my rat and I will bathe it and show you that. Okay, so here's Chatter. And I do have um, a blue glove on one hand because Cheddar tends to have really really sharp nails and it's hard to bathe her and hold her in the water when she's kind of scratching me. I haven't cut her nails in a very long time. Well not that long, about a month or two ago. But I will cut them shortly and I will probably make a video about that. It's quite hard though. Okay so now I'm going to fill up the water and then if you're using a sink you're going to probably have to plug the little drain thing on the bottom so the water doesn't go down. Um, usually I like to do that. I don't like just to let it run. kind of like to let cheddar soak in the bath. So, first I'm going to put on the warm or hot water. And I'm only going to fill it up halfway. I don't want to fill it up all the way up here because it's going to kind of overflow. Even though it has those things that help it not to overflow, it's, more, it's easier to wash cheddar or a rat in here with it only halfway. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's hot. So I'm going to add some cold water. You want it um, medium warm water. You don't want it to be hot or cold. You want it just in the middle. So it's just right. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to turn on the cold water. So it kind of mixes a little. Ooh, it's extremely hot. More cold water. I'm going to let just a little bit out because it's a little too much. There we go. That's just right. Okay. Then I'm going to add some soap in the water. I know it looks like it already has a little bit of soap, but I'm going to add just a little more. Not a lot, just a little. There we go. Then I'm going to kind of mix it. Mix it up. Mix it. So it's kind of bubbling. Okay. Dry that. Okay. So that's how it's going to look. And then cheddar. Okay. I got cheddar here. And I'm also going to get, I have this little sponge thingy that I use to wash cheddar. I just put the soap on here and then I just kind of scrub her. So I'm going to kind of plop her in the water. Can you kind of get used to it? You kind of just want to bring it on top of their backs. So, 
It's doing pretty good. Okay, so when you're drying your rat, here's Cheddar. Cheddar's all done with her bath. Hi! Say hi! So you kind of want to hold her like a burrito, or hold them like a burrito. At least I like to do it. So she gets dry, and she kind of just likes to sit in there for a little bit. So, oops, sorry about that. Banged it, the camera. Okay, so. She's all sitting in here. I like to let her sit and hold her for a couple of minutes so she could get dry. She's been really patient today. Oh yeah. Nice and patient. Okay. So, she's kind of sitting. And she'll kind of wiggle just a little bit in there. Okay, so anyways, when when you're done with um, kind of drying her like that in there, then you want to hold her on the towel. Or hold them on the towel, as you can see. Sorry, it's a little hard. There she is. Kind of hold her. And then you want to just kind of dry her with this towel. She's not patient at all for this part, so makes it quite hard. Okay, come on, Cheddar. It's okay. So just kind of fluff them, and kind of you have to keep moving them forward, because most of the time they'll want to run away. Because they probably think usually that they're still sort of wet in the water, because they don't they don't feel dry when they come out. So, anyways. Just kind of want to dry them, dry it forward, see how her hair is getting a bit fluffy. Yeah, a little fluffy there. Okay, so then you take that off. Brush it forward, 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 forward. There you go. And just do that for a couple of times. Um, you don't have to do it too much. You could also do underneath. You could get it, get her, yeah, like that. They really like that. <laughs> Wee! There you go. Does that feel good, Cheddar? Cheddar likes this a lot. She feels like a little rag doll. <laughs> Wee! Okay, so you can do that underneath. That's really good. Gets everywhere. Hi, say hi. Wee! Okay, so yeah, they do enjoy their tummies brushed a lot more than the back. So, anyways, that's pretty much it with the video. Um, you could dry your rat more. You kind of want them completely dry, like her. She's pretty much dry. She, some little wet patches in the bottom area. And her stomach dries, actually. Her belly dries really quickly. Um, so, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Till next time. One more thing. If you have any questions about rats or anything else, any other videos that I have done, which you could look at, um, just put them in the comments box below. I enjoy people who ask me questions, and I'll be ha very happy to answer them. Um, I will probably respond within 24 hours. Um, I like to respond very quickly to people. I don't like to make them wait like a week or so. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments box below. And thanks for watching.